I'm your host Isha Bhalla welcoming you to this very exciting show Commerceify presents the most trusted brands 2022 brought to you by Team Marksman we are here to acknowledge brands that have created a beautiful relationship with their consumers brands that today are loved by their consumers brands that have created experiences for their consumers to remember so let's get this very exciting evening started I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to Mr. Rajesh Kupchandani, co-founder and chief operating officer of none other than this absolutely wow brand, Team Marksman. Please put your hands together for the co-founder and CEO of Team Marksman joining us on stage. A very warm welcome from Team Marksman and Marksman Daily to all of you all. The brand gurus, the marketing gurus, the best in the business, of course. I cannot say um, much about marketing to you all. It's like uh, when Sushan said at one of our events, it's like teaching the Bible to a preacher. Of course, that's something that I won't do. But yes, it's such an honor and privilege to be amongst you all this evening to recognize the efforts by you and your team to make your brands the most trustworthy brands in the country. It's a real pleasure to be with you, between you all today. Now, um, like, you know, uh, when I talk about trust, it's such a small word, but it holds so much value and importance in our lives. We resonate, we connect with brands like today we have between us, like LIC, we have Maruti, we have brands which have changed the waves, we have Henkel between us. There are so many brands in the B2B and B2C space which have changed lives of people whom they deal with day in and day out and also the people who work closely with them. The entire ecosystem builds and works on the trust factor that these brands build within and with people around them. May I please request all of you to get set for our very interesting fireside chat on digital transformation driving the great reset. May I request all of you to please put your hands together for both our speakers. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to Ms. Vidisha Chatterjee, the Director of Communications for WhatsApp in India. May I request all of you to please put your hands together as I extend a very warm welcome to Ms. Vidisha Chatterjee. A round of applause as she steps forward. May I please request all of you to put your hands together for our speaker, Ms. Dipali Nair, Director, Digital Sales India, and ASEAN New Zealand and Korea at IBM. May I please request all of you to put your hands together for our women leaders right here. Over to you both. So, Dipali, um, I think the first uh, watch the pandemic has really shown us. And, uh, you know, the impact has really... Uh, according to news reports, taken a lot of uh, the economy, uh, you know, in a downward turn. Uh, and so, if we are talking about the digital reset, how do you see us going from here, from where we were? If I really look at the digital reset, it was a great growth opportunity for some brands. It was a great growth opportunity for certain categories. And of course, certain businesses and categories had to relook at what they were doing and they didn't, uh, you know, find, uh, uh, let's say, uh, pleasant innings uh, in the last two years. Within marketing, the traditional formulas are not working. And I've been through that personally in the last seven, eight years. Any of, any one of you during the break, you know, or later on, we can talk about how I feel marketing organizations need to be, you know, structured very differently. And it's really about that. Where and who will be responsible for what kind of roles in the future? I think the next two or three years, you're going to see a lot of shift, uh, you know, in that. So I think that's what I want to speak about the reset. Uh, uh, you know, when you talk about the great reset, the reset is happening in the various nooks and crannies of India, quite unknown to, uh, you know, even urban India maybe. It's happening in remote rural areas where people are, you know, thinking of ways and means of survival first yes. and then, of course, thriving. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, uh, and I, technology is enabling that, right? And I think the examples that you showed and I think uh, many technology organizations partnered uh, the government of India, I mean, including IBM, including, I think every name that you take today, I think government was very active in terms of working with private organizations. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, many such examples. And I think the speed also played a huge role there. Uh, I just want to uh, bring to everybody's attention one, you know, one example that illustrates this beautifully. 
uh, while there may be instances of technology actually dividing between the haves and the have-nots, and that may be increasing. On the flip side, um, I'll name an organization called Convigenius, which during the entire period of uh, the pandemic actually helped teachers and students uh, connect with each other only on WhatsApp, yes. Um, but that's not the point that I'm making. There were assessment papers that teachers used to send to the students. The students would respond back on the assessments. And the number of messages exchanged between the students and the teachers went up to something like 20 million a day sure. as the pandemic increased. Now, the beauty of technology, uh, easy technologies, which do not take much bandwidth, which do not require too much of um, tech savvy to understand, to decipher, um, you know, which has a very simple user interface and a great user experience at the same time, somewhat like a WhatsApp, um, you know, can enable uh, students in remote and rural areas and has enabled in this particular case, and I'm very happy to share this Absolutely. with you, Absolutely. Uh, you know, during this entire time. And that to us was like an eye opener that in terms of ed tech, there is a difference, there is an impact which is probably being made. Yes, there is lots that needs to be done. And, you know, there is so much of a journey that all of us have to make together. Uh, but yeah, at least the beginnings are there. So that's a silver lining. Thank you so much for making this session so very special for all of us. And I'm sure we had various takeaways. So may I please request all of you to put your hands together for both our speakers. It's been a pleasure having the two of you here. Please welcome the team from Strider on stage. We bring to you most trusted brands of India for the year 2022, Strider. Pandemic has resulted in health becoming a priority for each and every individual. Because of limited access to gyms and clubs, cycling became a rage during lockdown. To ride the wave, Strider launched a number of trendy products to become the most preferred brand for all our cycling enthusiasts. Another exciting trend that we see around the globe is EV as the most preferred mobility solution. And to leverage this shift, Strider has entered the e-bike segment and has launched best-in-class e-bikes with highest value proposition. Few years back, bicycle was seen as a commodity. But millennials today are giving a lot of stress on quality and aesthetics. It is our constant endeavor to provide our customers with most innovative and quality products. Up next is Simpolo Ceramics. May I please request all of you to put your hands together and welcome the team on stage. A round of applause for him, please. The trusting on a brand is a process which takes a lot of time to grow over a period of time. We have to keep constant effort, interactive with dealers, with the end customers, project, and many more people who are using, you know, ceramic tile for that reason. And constantly keep innovating the product and trusting your belief on your customer. Once these things are done over a period of time, you have conveyed, you are interactive with your customer, you are allowing them to see your facility, how you are manufacturing the product. I think I'm reasonable on that. And we, we very well are open to speak to the customer, to the end client in case if they have. So they believe on us. That's the reason we are a trusted brand today. Thank you so very much for being a part of this spectacular show. It's time for a short break.
I'd like to welcome all of you back to this very exciting episode. Commerzify presents the most trusted brands of India 2022, brought to you by Team Marksman. We're now all set to begin with our felicitation ceremony. So may I please request all of you to put your hands together to all our spectacular brands that we'll be felicitating this evening. This is a moment of celebration and we'd like to wish the very best to each and every band who have made it to the listing. All of you to please put your hands together. A round of applause for Commerceify Presents Most Trusted Brands of India 2022. A round of applause for ACT Fibernet. Let us now put our hands together for Defy. Up on the screen for you, yet another trusted brand. We'd like to wish the very best to Herbal Life Nutrition India. A round of applause for Commerceify Presents Most Trusted Brands of India, Nexus Malls. Many, many congratulations to Reliance Digital, making it to the listing of Most Trusted Brands of India 2022. Cafe, many, many congratulations to each of brands making it up. Let us wish the very best to Tata Click. Let us now look forward and congratulate yet another trusted brand. Our best wishes to Gold's Gym. May I request all of you to please put your hands together for Voltas. Spreading impressions of safety and concern for all their consumers. Please put your hands together for yet another trusted brand, Aquaguard. From buying to using the product, making sure that everybody who uses falls in love with it. Please put your hands together for Birla Hilputti joining up on stage next. Right here at Commercify Presents Most Trusted Brands of India 2022, brought to you by Team Marksman. Up next is Ebax. May I please request all of you to put your hands together for yet another brand here to connect with their audience and so much more. May I request all of you to please extend a warm welcome to Edifix Technologies. I'd like to request the team to please join us here on stage. And that's the proud team up on stage for you. It's now time for us to wish the very best to Innovity Payment Solutions. May I please request all of you to put your hands together as the team steps forward. A round of applause for Innovity Payment Solutions. Now I'd like to wish the very best to Team Sitafil who are creating personal hygiene and personal grooming so much more important. Please put your hands together for Sitafil. A round of applause for Kofsils joining us next. May I request all of you to please put your hands together. Kofsils joining us on stage. A round of applause for Tata Tele Business Services joining us up on stage next. Many, many congratulations to you and your team, ma'am. May I request all of you to please put your hands together for Dharma Touch. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you yet another most trusted brand of India. May I now request all of you to put your hands together for Numeric UPS joining us on stage next.
So I'll break it into two. So there are uh, in the UPS segment, uh, there is a lower KVA, we call it uh, lower capacity UPS uh, and the high capacity UPS. In the lower capacity UPS, there are a lot of interesting trends which are emerging. Uh, if you talk about uh, some of the uh, work from home solutions, uh, entertainment, gaming, uh, smart homes, uh, CCTV applications. So that's very interesting trends which are emerging in the lower KV applications or lower rating UPSs. And in the higher uh, KV applications, uh, there are many specific trends which are coming from the digitization which is happening across the country, uh, digital transformations roadmap which are happening, uh, data center applications which are catching up. So there is a lot which is happening in the higher KV uh, rating uh, applications. And it's very interesting for all of us, I think as we are seeing Numeric as a brand which is uh, evolving in this space, uh, in the lower KVA or lower rating UPSs, uh, we have uh, quite a few technical and non-technical products which we talk about. So in the technical side, we have uh, 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 DIY uh, application-based products where consumers can uh, use these uh, UPS. May I request all of you to please put your hands together for Mother Pure and Hygienic Sugar. A round of applause for yet another trusted brand joining us here on stage. It is the consistent quality which we have been bringing to the consumers over last year, over a decade and a half. And the brand promise is that you always get a pure and hygienic product. And away from the perils of loose sugar, which most of the consumers do use. And by delivering it consistent quality over the years is what probably has brought the prominence to us. Because even then, we've been fairly growing at 20% plus CGR here on here. May I please request all of you to put your hands together and extend a warm welcome to Yufis's Learning joining us on stage next amongst applauses from the audience. Many, many congratulations. Providing you the best of learning solutions, building on trust and so much more. Overall perspective, we are the, we are the only company in the country which is focused on a distribution platform for schools. And the trends that we are seeing in the last four years are very interesting for two reasons. First one, schools are increasingly looking to innovate along with the trends, technology, integration, which is happening all across the world. And they are looking for a single provider which can provide a large catalog of services and solutions so that they can pick and choose what they want. And that is how we have been able to scale to 7,500 schools in a matter of four years. Humble to say, we are present in one out of four premium schools in India in a span of four years only. Secondly, schools are also looking at how can technology make their life easier. So everyone is looking for a single platform where they can conduct classes, where they can consume content, where they get analytics about students' performance, and they are looking for how can they get more feedback via technology so that they can get personalized attention to each student in the classroom. So these are the two overarching trends that we are seeing all across. And that's how when we have been going to schools, we have tried to democratize access to the latest trends and technology from across the world and bring them to India. And may I now have the privilege of inviting Gold Medal Electricals, the team joining us here on stage and accepting our congratulations. Long-term goals and visions need to be uh, very clear about what we are looking forward to. Nothing can be achieved in short term and uh, the real reason, uh, I think every business with success, it, it comes with a long dream and a vision which comes. But there are a lot of other things also which also taking, can be taken care in this entire process because uh, teamwork is what I believe uh, is something which we all look forward to 
when it comes to uh, uh, longer visions and uh, apart from this uh, being uh, innovative being uh, different from the market are what the key factors in a success we as an organization have pivoted our complete offering to the market which manages ESG as well as sustainability we have gone ahead and made a lot of changes in our offering in terms of uh, on the core shell as well as on the operational side of the business on the core shell side we have upgraded all our buildings to lead platinum and on the operation side we been certified by the well uh, delos clinic for from a well certification for operation we have got ul certification for our building and we have also gone ahead and done lead out certification we are also working for on the, the sustainability goals in terms of uh, getting accredited and becoming signatories to gresby and uh, to world uh, sustainable uh, index and these are a few changes we have made plus we have made a lot of changes in our design uh, of the buildings in terms of fresh air availability uh, in terms of you know age to upgradation and also trying to see how we can move towards renewable uh diesel for uh, for us thank you so very much for being such a spectacular part of this beautiful show all of you have made sure that we create memories to remember thank you for watching and it has been a pleasure hosting for you